Living in groups does make it easier for diseases to spread through populations, and humans are not the only species battling this problem. One thing that honeybees do is they collect antimicrobial resins from trees and they use this to coat the inside of the hive, kind of like an antimicrobial layer, and they pay special attention to the entrance. The reason for this, we think, is because that means that returning foragers, which have been out in the environment and contacting pathogens, uh, potentially through interacting with other bees that um, are all foraging on the same flowers or picking up viruses, for example, that are left behind by bees on those flowers, they're exposed to all these different pathogens and then they come back into the hive. And if there's this sort of antimicrobial doormat that they have to walk over as they re-enter, then this is, um, it's kind of like washing your hands when you uh, come back home or uh, using that hand sanitizer when you go into a supermarket. It's just limiting the, um, the number of pathogens that, can, that you can transmit. In honeybee colonies, also different groups of workers do different jobs. Young bees generally work inside the hive, so they stay home. They tend to the brood, do things like cleaning the nest and feeding the queen. Whereas the older bees are the ones that go out and forage, which is a much riskier job because it means that they have more chances to get exposed to different pathogens from interacting with bees at flowers and that kind of thing. So by having the younger bees stay at home and do the nursing tasks and having the older bees do the riskier jobs of going outside and collecting food, then that sort of creates a social buffer around the vulnerable larvae and the queen uh, by having only the nurses tend to them. Um, it really limits the interactions that foragers have with these vulnerable individuals and um, that's kind of like social distancing. Workers will actually seek out and remove diseased larvae and pupae from the hive and we call this hygienic behavior. Hygienic workers know who's starting to get sick because they smell differently and the workers can detect the initial stages of disease by sensing a change in the odorants that the larva is giving off. So the idea is that by quickly detecting and removing diseased brood before that pathogen they have becomes infectious, then they can reduce the disease transmission inside the colony. And it's kind of like quarantine or social distancing in the sense that the goal is to limit contact between the diseased brood and the healthy workers. But instead of caring for the sick brood and trying to bring them back to health, they essentially ostracize them and leave them outside of the hive to die. So that's what's happening with hygienic behavior. It's pretty extreme in terms of a disease fighting strategy. The, the, sick, the sick brood are being sacrificed for the greater good of the colony if it means that it keeps everybody else healthy. <laughs> 